all sorts of ideas as to where to put the front and back wheel. In white, little known Polish rider, Jarosz Takira. And on the outside, Tony Kasper, Czechoslovakia. Heat two of the Continental Final from La Ligo in Italy. start and it's the Paul Stakira who makes the start but round him on the outside Tony Casper but the inside line looking good for Coxo and Dalkielli bursting down the inside good racing Colin yeah very good that caused four problems again Dalkielli's got past both of them well it's Hungarian Coxo holding the lead that's a surprise we really didn't rate his chances but Dalkielli diving through on the inside Casper back in third Stakira in last place. Oh, all sorts of things happening there. Coxo running into the back. Coxo running into the back of Dalkielli. And his bike still on the track. No sign of the referee stopping the race. And he's out on the fence. Hard to apportion blame there, Colin. Kielli was trying to miss the hole in the middle of that corner. Locked up hard. And the lad had nowhere to go. Well, that's hard luck for Hungarian Stefan Coxo, but it is the local boy, Armando Dalkielli, coming in to take the checkered flag in first place. Coming out of the last bend, Tony Casper grabbing second place. He'll need two points. And third, Jarosz Takira. Former World Long Track champion Karl Meyer riding in yellow-black in heat number three. He's a rider who's twice won the World Long Track title. He's made three or four Speedway World Championship finals, never looked too dangerous in them. But today, certainly a rider most people will be reckoning on getting through. Next to him in white, looking very colorful, the Hungarian Sultan Ordian. Moving in one, wearing blue, the former Hackney Hawk from Poland, Roman Jankowski. And on the inside, little known pole, and he's Jan Krustyniak. Oh, very active starting, Marshall Collin. At least he's bringing them up or trying to. Yeah, trying to get an even start. Meyer's the one to watch from the start here, though. Nudging, nudging from the riders in red and blue. Roman Jankowski and Karl Meyer making the start. Meyer giving chase, but the bike cuts. Well, bad news indeed. So it's Roman Jankowski in blue, veteran pole, 29 years old. Second Sultan Adorian from Hungary, looking very, very colourful for an Eastern European rider. Been in one world final already. Third, Kristiniak, and Karl Meyer's bike's going, but is it too late, Colin? Yeah, I don't think Karl will get past him now. He's having big trouble, I think. I think his bike's packed up now altogether. Well, it's a great race up front. Hungarian Adrian putting veteran Jankowski under pressure. Trying it round the outside. Not too easy here at Lon Ego to do that. Well, he's done it. Adrian takes the lead then with Jankowski in second place. And he looks set to take three points. Very impressive ride from the Hungarian. Three points for Adrian, two for Jankowski, one for Kristiniak, and none for Karl Meyer, who most people, I'm sure, are looking to get through to another world final. That was another superb ride, wasn't it? I mean, the racing is terrific today, Colin. It really is. They've prepared this track brilliantly. To be able to go around someone this early on in the meeting is, is virtually unknown, especially at this level. But Adorian was riding nothing like that yesterday. He must have been holding something back, but he really got it together then. Sanderek in red, who's keeping us waiting. World final reserve last year. 25 years old. Red Star Club in Prague. Oh, it's the Russian Trofimov who's made the cut. 
Victor Trotimov looking good indeed. Sakira second. And third was the rider in blue, Kristiniak, leading Vanderek at the back. Vanderek now pushing Kristiniak under pressure. Big hole on that particular turn. Vanderek cuts through on the inside to third place. The Russian Trofimov in control, Stakira second, Vanderek third. I wonder now if that's the end of the passing for this race. That Russian looks good, Colin. Very, very good. He was good in practice, but he's, he's uh, surpassed all I thought he would do today. Have you any idea what engines they're riding? The Russians aren't riding uh, the normal Checo Jowers. They've come with GMs and Goddens mainly, but uh, whatever it is, he's certainly got it going very quick here today. I think he's riding out here Goddens. Well, the battle on now for second place. Czechoslovakian Vanderek closing hard on Stakira. He certainly needs two points because both those riders only had one first time out. Vanderek hard round the outside. Has he gone too wide? I think he probably has. So three points to Trofimov, two for Stakira, and one for Petra Vanderek. Right, let's see what he can do. Go Reese on gate three. Yes, a good one. Go Reese looking very, very classy there. Stakira nearly catching his back wheel. The pressure coming from Jankowski and Starostin, who drives inside to clinch second place, but it's Gerd Reese holding the lead. Gerd Reese, we've seen him in Britain for the Ipswich Witches. He's under terrible pressure. The Russian may be the oldest man in the field, but my word, there's plenty of go in him, isn't there, Colin? Starostin won't give up. Oh, whoa! Whoa, my word. Well, the referee's stopping that one. Gerd Reese has got to do it all over again. He's the man in white. Six points under his belt so far. Now, Reese away from the start. Stakira in red. Moving round on the outside into second place, Jankowski. But it's Stakira coming through. And underneath Gerd Reese, my word. That is a shock. Gerd Reese moving right out. And the two poles have left him for dead. Well, Colin, what a shot. Yes, the Kira moved him right out there. And just kept going through. There was no way he was going to back off. But Reese has got it all to do now. Whether he's got enough going him to get past both of them now, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'd rather doubt it. Sort of rider who tends to get past one, but... Those poles are sitting together, aren't they? Roman seems to be filling the holes in behind him, as if he's letting him ride inside. Well, Gerd Reese just over one lap to go. Went into this race as the only unbeaten rider. Tries inside, so very tight. Little bit, no. Seemed to have the edge on speed down the back straight, but didn't want to take the big chance. Round the last bend they go. Stakira takes the win. No doubt about that one. Jankowski holding on for a very tight second place. And Gerd Reese coming in third. So that's really the biggest shot so far. And Mike gets left at the gate. So did the Shelley. It's in blue, Matasek out in front. Kastania second. And in white, Kastania. And the Shelley passed them both in one turn. Castagna is out on the fence, can't get back. Kostanya is second, Matasek first, Castagna third. The race must be on now for Castagna to try and get past the Shelley. He's trying to use the outside, get a better run on, on the dirt round the outside of the Shelley. And he's done it, he's passed it. He cuts his nose off going into the corner. And Castagna now moves away from the Shelley. Shelly gets on the back wheel, getting all the drive down the back straight. Now it's the Shelly's turn now to go for the dirt and see if he can get a run on Castagna. But Castagna seems to make more ground away from him. It's a great race, Bob, isn't it? It is a great race. The Italians obviously don't like each other too much. And significantly, there's Roman Matashek up front. Not done much all day, but he's one of the boys who should get through. And the Shelly's bike seems to have stopped. He's got a punch, I think. 
That was, must be the best race of the day so far. The Shelley, who after there was one of the joint leaders, coming in third to uh, his great rival, Castagna, and the, the unranked Matasek winning the race. Tony Gaspel the wheel. Roman Yankosmi across the start. Castagna's completely missed the corner, gone out wide. Tomlin off falls past Tony Casper, and so does Castagna. Roman Jankowski out in front. Victor Tomlin off goes out for the dirt. Castagna's blocks right the way through. Tony Casper comes through for third place. Castagna out of contention at the moment, trying to get back in there. Tony Casper breathing down the neck of the Russian down the back straight there. Trying to get a little bit of run on the dirt on the outside. Cuts back to the inside, trying to get underneath the Russian. Roman. Roman's very comfortable out in front, taking it easy, a bit of the Sunday afternoon ride out. And Tony tries again on Tominoff, going down the back straight, into the corner, trying to use the dirt and get the run on the Russian coming out the corner. Tony cuts back and gets past Tominoff. Very good turn there from Tony. He's riding very well today. A wonderful ride that from Tony Casper. Really calculated the gap. The Russian went for it, Tony went through. But this looks like the end. Castagna looks like he's out to me. Castagna just doesn't seem to be able to get it together. Roman Jankowski wins it. Tony Casper second. And the Russian Tomanov third. But Castagna definitely seems to be fading here. And uh, all hopes for Italy must now go towards Dacchielli. And he's Janusz Stakira. Probably one of the lesser rated men in today's field. But he's ridden well and deserved his chance. The other riders... Wojciech Zabialovic in red. Nothing all afternoon, then suddenly pops up with a win in his last ride. 30-year-old Karl Meyer from Munich, former long track champion of the world. He's well and truly out, must be very disappointed. And in white, Armando Castagna, local, local boy, local hero, and he's out as well. Karl Meyer it is who makes the break. Castagna around Stakira. Carmeyer looks like going out with a little bit of a bang. It's been a really awful afternoon for a man of his ability. Castagna second, Stakira third, and Zabilovic at the back. Oh, really? They're only racing for their pride in this one, aren't they, Colin? They are, yes. Maya has pulled his pulled himself together the last couple of rides and really go together. Castagna is starting to get it together too, but it's all too late. They should have done this two or three rides ago. Castagna there is getting a good run on Meyer. If he can keep this up around this corner, he will well pass him. Well, he makes a good effort and he's got another lap to go. Karl Meyer, West Germany. Amanda Castagna, Italy. Castagna bitterly disappointed and he goes by. Well, Armando gives the home crowd something to cheer about. Three points for Castagna. That does end his evening on a high note. Second, Karl Meyer. And third, Janusz Stukira. On the outside, Roman Matusek. Well, he needs two points to qualify for his place in Amsterdam. Equally, if he beats Roman Jankowski, then we've got possibly a runoff for second place. In there are spoilers. We've got Coxo from Hungary wearing the red helmet and Van der Rek from Czechoslovakia. Coxo scored five points. Could have been an awful lot more. Van der Rek must say very disappointing for a man who was in the world final as a reserve last year. Only three points from him. But Coxo would be well advised to get ready and get back on his bike. The referees have already excluded one rider for gardening and going backwards and forwards much to the approval of the fans much to the approval of this particular commentator so heat number 20 I think we're ready to roll and it's the battle of the two Romans Jankowski holding the side edge over Matasek and close up behind them Coxo Jankowski 29 year old from Lesno used to ride for the 
Tackney Hawks several years ago in the British League. This is going to give him a runoff with the West German Gerd Rees. Matter second, second place. He'll be happy. That means he and fellow countryman Tony Casper will be the other two who book their places in the world final. Oh, Roman Jankowski, Colin, that's a bit of a surprise. None of us really expected him to do that well, did we? No, he's ridden very consistently today, though. He's been in and around every time from the start. He's made a good run to the first corner. He's one of those riders that he can produce five good starts, like, like he has done today, and prove that he's as good as anyone else. It's going to be different when they get to Amsterdam and he comes up against the Gundersons and the Nielsens, but at this standard, he's, he's proved he's equally as good as all the other riders. So, three points for Roman Jankowski. That will give him a runoff for the Continental title. Which gate would you have chosen, Colin, if you'd been in this runoff? Uh, if, uh, if I was Riss, I was taking three, push Jankowski off to one so he can run across on the first turn and push across the 10 degrees. Well, that's just what he's done. Jankowski's been very sharp from the start all afternoon, but Reese just about getting that edge. Reese known for his fast engines, but he's certainly not leaving the Polish rider behind, is he? No. Jankowski's keeping up with him very well. But the only trouble is, once you've made the start in a runoff like this, something really awkward's going to happen for you to, to lose a, a lead like Riss is building up now.